Okay, so today we're going to make twice baked potatoes. We like them better than the loaded potato skins and they're actually a little bit easier to make. If you haven't seen that, we will leave that in the link above. But let's get started on the Pioneer Woman items you will need to make this recipe. You'll need her one cup and half a cup measuring cup. You will need a big bowl to put all the guts of the potato in. Of course, you'll need a masher, her signature knife, her, um, I call it a rubber brush, um, half teaspoon measuring, and of course, I like these kind of towels, the fabric-y ones, whenever I'm dealing with scorching hot potatoes. You'll need her cutting board and a ramekin, at least one. If you like to pre-measure, then you'll need more than that. You will need a her big cookie sheet and her small one. The only reason why I have this small one out is because that's how I cook my bacon. I do not like to be popped with all the grease from the bacon. It hurts and I don't like it. <laughs> and you will need two oven mitts and also a pot holder. And that's all the items you need to make this recipe. All right, moving on to the food you will need to make this recipe. You will need eight baking potatoes. I prefer the bigger ones whenever I'm making the twice baked potatoes. You need canola oil. You will need eight slices of bacon. It says thick, but this is all I have and it'll work just perfectly fine. You'll need two sticks of butter. You'll need one cup of sour cream and half a cup of milk, and of course she likes the whole milk. You will need one fourth teaspoon of the seasoning salt. You will need half a teaspoon of black pepper. I'm just gonna use normal black pepper instead of the grounded, um, just, just cause I think it'll taste better. You'll need two cups of sharp cheddar cheese and two green olives. This is just extra that I had, so I'm just going to put it according to my eye. But that is all you will need to make this recipe. So while I was jabbering, I went ahead and got the oven ready for 400 degrees. And I got the bacon on aluminum foil, just because it's the easier cleanup. And I'm going to stick this in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes. So while the bacon is cooking, I am going to scrub these potatoes really good because we are gonna eat the skins and that would be gross. <laughs> All right, so I got them good and rinsed off, and I'm doing an experiment here. I've heard that you can't use aluminum foil whenever you are baking potatoes like this, but my pan has seen its better days already, so I'm gonna see how they do. I'm gonna use the smaller ones instead of the bigger ones, so if they do mess up, at least it's the smaller ones. All right, so I explained the aluminum foil for you. Now, I've got the canola oil in this ramekin, and all I'm gonna do is paint on the oil on the potatoes. All right, so now the bacon is done, but of course we can leave the oven on that 400 degrees. All I'm gonna do is take this out of the oven. Ooh, that looks so good. Oh, I wish y'all could smell it too. And then I'm going to put those onto a plate, but for now I'm going to put these potatoes in the oven for an hour, which I'm gonna need both hands, so sorry. <laughs> All right, so I got the potatoes in the oven, and then I'm going to set the timer for one hour or 60 minutes. So now with the bacon, all I'm going to do is put these over onto a plate with some paper towels to kind of drain off that grease. Oh, these are looking so good. Ugh, I wish I would have made more so I could have some for now. <laughs> and then I'll probably dab the tops a little bit just again to get rid of some of that grease. All right, so over here I have my setup ready to go. Right now, if I wouldn't have already had the green onions chopped, I would be chopping those right now, and then I would be shredding the cheese if I haven't already sh shredded that as well. And then I'm going to wait for the bacon to cool, and then I'm going to give those a good chop. All right, so now I'm going to take the butter and then just slice them according to the label and throw them into the bucket. Now I've got the butter. I'm going to add my half a cup of milk, my one cup of 
sour cream. my half a teaspoon of black pepper, and my half a teaspoon of seasoning salt. I went ahead and diced up the bacon and added that to the bowl as well, and I went ahead and pre-measured my cheese, and I'm gonna stick that back in the refrigerator until the potatoes are done. So the potatoes are done, and I'm going to slice each potato in half, and then I'm going to take my cookie scooper <laughs> and just scoop out all the potatoes as much as I can as close to the edge as possible and I'm going to do this to all of the potatoes but I'll just show you the first one at least. <laughs> all right that's pretty good um, and like I said I'm going to do this to all of them and then I'm going to put them back on the pan. All right, now we got all the potatoes in there, so we are going to mash them all together. And while we're doing that, I'm also gonna try to blend all that milk and sour cream and butter and bacon all in it, all into the potatoes as well. This will give you a workout. Woo. All right, so we got that all good and mashed. Hold on, I gotta get to scrape off all the potatoes here. Gotta keep the yummy stuff. And then I'm going to stir in the one cup of cheddar cheese. Gotta add some cheese to the potatoes. What? <laughs> we like cheese around here. And then we are going to add in the green onions. What? Green onions are good. I have a special treat for you guys. I have my beautiful assistant here with me today. And we are just going to scoop in the filling of the potato into the skins. All right, Charlie, I'm gonna hold it and then you just spoon some into there. Can you do that? Yeah. There you go, we get another spoon. We're gonna fill these up. Think that's push enough. Push it down, maybe one more little spoon. It's good to have it a little bit full. Think that's full. Okay. Mommy will do the last one. <gasps> there got, we go. It's gotta be too big. There is a good stuffed twice baked potato. Okay. And we're going to do this to all of the potato skins. I'm helping my mom. <laughs> Alright, tell us what you're doing, Charlie. Yes, so my beautiful assistant is just sprinkling some more cheese on top. And since it's not dinner time yet, I'm going to stick all this back in the fridge. And then when we are ready for dinner, I'm going to set the oven back to Hi, 400. Jason. When we are ready for dinner, I'm going to set the oven back to 400 degrees. And I'm going to go ahead and put those in there while the oven is even heating up and they'll bake for another 10 to 15 minutes and then we'll be good to eat for dinner. Thank you, beautiful assistant.